Hello guys, welcome to another few money. Today we're going to talk about price action, Bitcoin price action, a bit of the price to time model, then we are going to go through the MRI strategy and then the pro framework, the pro indicators framework. We will also discuss a bit the Tesla sell of 10% of total Bitcoin holdings. So let's go directly to the charts. Okay, so we will start by the price to time model. So let's take a look of what's happening. You guys have been um, following the price to time, the price to time model know already what probably will happen from here on. So basically, we had two red weeks, we didn't touch the 20 week simple moving average. Uh, this week, we started immediately after the close of the previous week, we started to go up. We are almost already at the same level as the breakout that this week um, did. So we are now recovering all the price, all the all the recovering all the gains that we had during the previous week. We are below the threshold of the exponential curved line of the price to time model. We did not touch the moving average. So I was expecting I was expecting a touch of this uh, SMA that would be that would have been a much cleaner reversal of the price and with a reason the reason being that we touched the moving average as in previous bull runs like 2017 when we touched this moving average like four or five times if I'm not mistaken we can check so we touched it once twice uh, three four almost five so four times and the fifth time was almost there but we did not touch the simple moving average which was a good indication that we were running really exponentially to the upside just before forming a new top so the price was so strong going up we did not even touch the moving average during this uh, during this retracement here, as you guys can see, so we have actually four touches and the fifth which did not, which did not touch the moving average. So going back to the price of time model, currently the current price action, I foresee that we are now um, getting to the 56,000 resistance. We will have some hard time uh, breaking this resistance to the upside. Let's see what happens. But so far, so good. As to the price to time model, uh, concerning the price to time model, I foresee that we are in a healthy and sustainable price action rising to the top as expected so far. So let's see how this evolves this week. I hope that we can at least break the resistance around 56k and then we will evaluate. So let's uh, quickly go to the MRI strategy and we will start with the weekly chart. So you guys can see here, uh, I hope the zoom is working well for you guys. So right now we are trading at around again some shit sorry for that i forgot to press the button let me see if the signals disappear there this is the correct position for the chart okay so that's it so let me just check the price action currently so we are exactly around fifty-five thousand, and let me zoom again now so the red line you guys see here this is the fifty-six thousand, and this is where the resistance will um, come in and try to reject the price action going to the upside now. So as far as I'm concerned for the weekly chart, I remain bullish. This is just, uh, this was a one to four candle correction, which is now already going to the upside, which is not even a four candle correction. It's a three candle correction. And the third candle is going already back up almost to the same level of the breakout to the downside. As you guys also can see here, we did not touch the 20 week simple moving average. We were a bit distant because this was around 44K when this candle was coming down. I guess now we are around 
45 and 700 so we are already going up the moving average is catching up with the price action but we were a bit distant by three or four thousand dollars we did not touch the moving average so this also shows that the price is uh, really strong to the upside this bull cycle is being very strong to the upside let's see what happens next if we can at least close the weekly candle above my trend line here this white line that would be a very bullish indication the rsi of course went uh, out of the over overbought ter uh, overbought territory and it's now turning back up again but it's still in the normal area of the rsi the macd however turned bearish here you guys see the blue line uh, came below the orange line so this is a bearish indication however the bars are not so extended as one might uh, expect for a correction so big as we had because we are already going to the upside so the bars look okay not really uh, not so strong this bearish move because we almost recovered all the um, territory that we lost for the previous candle the bitmax funding rate is very very neutral almost zero here on the daily but let's check the, on the weekly sorry guys let's see what's happening on the daily so on the daily you guys can see that we had a very nice support for the price action here on the 100 day simple moving average which is the red line and at the same time the mri gave us a reversal of the price signal after the one to nine uh, red candle count we had an mri bottom with a green arrow to the upside and that upside came exactly on the next candle just a few hours later after the weekly close so this candle here was the first candle also for this week and that was the candle where everything happened the reversal of the price and we are now on a second of nine green count to the upside so the daily is very bullish to me i i believe this will have some kind of uh it will be a bit difficult to break this resistance but the price action looks very strong going to the upside and it probably will take some time but we will break the 56k and at least go to 5860 where we should reevaluate what's going to happen okay so we have a big resistance since the 56 to the 60,000 it's a resistance area of four thousand dollars very very hard to break let's see what happens in the next few hours or days but i'm expecting that this bullish move is uh, as it's strong as it is it will take some time but probably could break this resistance and at least reach the top of the triangle again around 60k so let's let's wait so the volume is going back up again we don't see a clear um move to the upside in volume but at least we stop this downtrend on the volume that was happening before in the previous uh, weeks the rsi is completely neutral just going sideways on the daily and the macd is turning now back up showing some bullish uh signs of wanting to go again to the green bars and help to break the resistance around here if we don't have a retracement of course so the funding rate is very 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 neutral almost zero the premium is negative so i would say that this funding uh, this uh, funding rate of bitmax is not really favoring the bears this is actually favoring the bulls and that's also a very good sign to this price action we see here on the daily let's check the four hour quickly and here it is the first reversal on the four hour as soon as we touch this trend line the white trend line that you guys saw in the weekly and daily we were going up really fast and then we touched the trend line almost almost touched the trend line and as you guys can see the trend line is in a very exact spot the price reached almost a trend line and reversed a bit to the downside now it's again uh, not going to the downside anymore we are just trying to reverse the price again so let's see what happens the first resistance of course will be the trend line and then the 56k red line horizontal that you see here so i guess that 
we will have some hard time to go through all the moving averages up here, the 56k line of resistance and the trend line, but the uh, this move looks very strong. So I, I, I am hoping that we can at least get to the 58k or 60k and then we can reevaluate what's happening. So the BitMEX funding rate, let me check on the four hour. I'm just going to increase the, the, the bars here so you guys can see better. So here it is. We have a small bar to the upside, just above zero. The premium is negative. So let's check what is the rate. It's exactly 0.01%. So it's very low, very low percentage on the BitMEX funding rate. This is, of course, favoring the bulls. And if, if this doesn't go crazy, we could actually break the 56K uh, with this market sentiment that we have been getting from the bitmax funding rate we could actually break the 56k and reach higher levels around 58 or 60k so let me just check the one hour and see if the bitmax funding rate here is the same exactly 0 0.01 also so we have a match on the one hour on the four hour this means the bitmax funding rate is not very volatile we have exactly the same percentage so it's looking good Although I don't like this, the only thing I don't like is the price structure building this, this arch, this uh, part of a circle here. And if we start to go a bit to the downside and this continues to be an arch, then I don't see this as a very bullish move on the one hour at least. But this is the one hour, so it's not so relevant when compared to the weekly or the daily. Let's see what happens. The RSI is in normal territory, not oversold, not overbought. The MACD is completely neutral on the one hour, just going sideways. No green bars, no red bars, although we have a few green bars, a few red bars, but so small we can't even see them. So the, this, the Fisher distance from the EMA is completely neutral too. So let's see, we are breaking all the resistance here. We broke already this one, we broke this one, and we are now trying to get rid of this one. So I'm hoping that we go to the upside at least to try and test the 56K for the first time after this retracement. So let's see what happens. Let's check the pro indicators framework. So the daily remains the same as yesterday, almost the same. We did not retrace back down again to retest the lower levels inside the box. I went long here, as you guys know, two positions, 10% each. So I reinforced my position of 10% with another 10%. And now my average went back up just a bit. So it's not 47 and a half, it's around 48 something. So I'm, I'm already making some profits here. And I'm at least, at least waiting for the price to go somewhere near the 60K level, which is the orange dashed line here, the previous third range boundary line. So between 58 and 60, I will look very closely at the price action, see what happens if we are about to form a third range boundary here again on the same level as before or if we are going to have a breakout and then continuation to the upside. I would bet, as I said yesterday in my video, the biggest probability is that we retest the third range boundary here. We could have a retracement to the downside instead of continuation, but let's see what happens. So far, so good. The probabilities I mentioned yesterday of retesting this box are almost zero now so very very low probabilities i'm not seeing the price being rejected already before at least trying to break the 56k so let's see what happens here but the probabilities in my mind is that we can form a new third range boundary probably come back down to a fourth range boundary which i hope is above the previous level of the second and then, which is a bullish sign, of course, and then we can retest the third range boundary again and pro probably have a breakout later. So you guys need to be patient. Let's go to the four hour uh, uh, chart here on the pro framework and you guys will see better what I'm talking about. Let me just put this a bit to the left and zoom a bit here so basically what i'm expecting is the price action to continue to the upside we are already trying to break the trend channel so this was the first resistance in the pro frameworks the zigzag the red zigzag you guys see here we are already breaking it 
just a bit of retracement but probably we are going to be above the trend channel here this red zigzag we could uh, have a few retracements while going up and while meeting the 56k resistance and then the real resistance will come when we hit the 58k or the 60k and then we have to reevaluate so my probability is that we are going to reach some 58 probably 57 to 60 uh, level and then probably we are going to form a third range boundary if not at the same level of the previous one maybe just a bit below that one which is not a very bullish indication by the way but if we come back down to retest uh, these levels at least we could be a bit above of the previous levels of the second range boundary that would be a bullish sign and then with some patience and some raging around here this will become a mature range and then after the fourth range boundary we could retest this le this level here of 60k and probably break out to the upside for new all-time highs this is my perspective this is what i give the biggest probability of happening which means that we could be just ranging now in between this third range boundary level and the second range boundary level for some time and you guys need a bit of patience if you see that the price is just ranging and getting mature so that is my perspective let's check here so this is the exact time to end at least for today and just a small and quick um word about tesla so everyone was talking about tesla today i did my research this morning i was able to find the pdf with the report the quarterly report of tesla which they have to deliver in the united states uh, because of being a public company of course so i wrote my tweet i screenshot the the, the i have a screenshot on that tweet uh, regarding exactly so you guys can see here regarding exactly the page 26 what has been bought in bitcoin purchases of digital assets you guys can see here 1.5 billion so this number is in in uh, millions of dollars so it's uh, 1500 million millions of dollars and then you have the le next line proceeds from sales of digital assets and you guys can see the official number is 272 million dollars were sold in bitcoin elon musk mentions that 272 million dollars corresponds to 10 percent of the total uh, bitcoin holdings of the company so they sold 10 percent of all the bitcoin they have of course after making a really big profit so this is the page 26 if you guys want to see the complete report i also have the link here for the pdf file that is in the cloud of the fu money show so guys that's it let me just go here turn off the screen share so this is the report i have for today the daily briefing is uh, so we had the uh, price action for bitcoin my perspectives for the future we discussed a bit about tesla and you guys can see on my twitter uh, the page 26 of the report you guys can see the exact number of bitcoin of millions of dollars of bitcoin that uh, tesla sold and that's it for today if you enjoyed the content gently touch the like button share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new and i will see you on the next one bye bye